Hi folks, this is Max from uh, Galaxy Note 2 root.com. Today I'm going to show you how to use Torp. Um, right now, as of this video, Torp is available for the Sprint Galaxy Note 2. Um, so let me show you how to use it. Uh, if you don't have Torp installed for your um, Galaxy Note, follow my instructions. This one is for the Sprint. Uh, maybe in the future they might have Torp for other Galaxy Note 2s, but as of this video, it's only available for Sprint Galaxy Note 2 and if you follow the routing instructions for Sprint Galaxy Note 2 on my site um, you will automatically get Torp. So once you have rooted and Torp installed let me show you the first thing you should do is back up your ROM. So let's go ahead and boot into Torp. Turn off your phone and you're gonna hold down volume up, center home and the power button. Okay. So when that light goes off there hold down volume up, center home and the power button. And when you see the logo, let go of the power button, but keep holding down the volume up and the center home button. And you'll be in this team win uh, twerp recovery, so you're all good to go. You don't have to worry about anything here. Uh, the first thing you should do is back up. So go to backup, and what this will do is back up the system data in boot. Now this just means it's going to back up your whole ROM, your kernel, your uh, apps, your settings. It's not going to back up the contents of your internal storage or SD card, such as photos and videos. They don't get touched. And you have an option to save those, but I, I suggest just backing up all those three. Um, that should be all good to go. And you can set backup name. Uh, let's say this is my stock ROM, right? And uh, hit go and that will set up the backup name and also you can if you have an external SD card micro SD card insert it you can also save it there um, and you can enable compression I just suggest the default settings are just fine and then uh, swipe to backup and make sure you have enough space I do have enough space I have uh, 9.4 gigs and this is gonna take about uh, about 1.4 gigs so swipe to backup and this will back up everything and uh, the reason why you do this when you go ahead and install different custom ROMs and you want to come back to the stock ROM you will have to restore your stock ROM using this um, another way you can do it is you can unroot it but then you'll you lose all your settings your apps all, all your app data so you'll have to start over like a brand new phone so by backing up your ROM you'll be guaranteed um, you'll at, at least have a copy and you can do this as many times as you want and also you can delete backups it's stored usually in twerp directory a directory called twerp in your internal storage or your micro SD card depending on where you backed it up to and uh, restoring is very easy instead of backing up you restore and choose the folder um, that you backed up to uh, these backups get stored in folders and also you can move these backups to your computer if you want um, so it's it's a very very useful tool this is the first thing you should do and uh, after I back it up, I'll show you how to restore it. I'll actually show you uh, the restore restore method. And also, Torp backups are not compatible with uh, Clockwork Mod Recovery backups. So you should either decide on using Torp or um, Clockwork Mod Recovery from the get-go. For the Sprint Galaxy S, uh, Sprint Galaxy Note 2, right now Tor only Torp is available. So I suggest using Torp for um, the Sprint Galaxy Note 2 for all the other Note 2's uh, I suggest using Clockwork My Recovery because that was the first thing available and I think uh, right now Torp is only available for the Sprint they share a different file system only the Sprint one has different uh, so far in International the GTN 7100 and the T-Mobile uh, Galaxy Note 2 they share the same file system so you can use the same Clockwork My Recovery anyway I will be back when this is uh, done so that's done. Actually, it just was done after I cut the camera off. It, it didn't take too long. Um, you can see how many bytes it took. It actually took 1.4 gigabytes or 40, 1433 megabytes. Um, don't reboot system now. Uh, you can once you make a backup. You should be all good to go. Uh, that's the first thing you should do before installing a new ROM. And uh, also, what you can do is uh, um, if you want to restore it, go ahead and boot back into it hit restore and you'll have a bunch of options either choose use internal storage or you can hit that button if you're using micro SD card and then uh, I, I named my folder stock ROM 
So I'm going to go ahead and restore this. This is going to restore my system data boot. And I'm going to actually restore it. And I'm going to show you that it, my phone's working after that. Um, it's only going to restore whatever you know I was running there. So it's going to be the same thing. But at least I can show you that my phone's you know being restored. So usually you'll want to do this when you want to recover your phone or you want to go back to the stock ROM. Anyway, I'll be back when this is done. Hi folks, so it is done as you can see here. Uh, let me reboot system now to show you that my my system has been completely uh, restored. And uh, pretty much what I did is I you know backed up restore, so it's gonna it's be exactly the same the way it was. But if you're coming from another custom ROM, it's gonna restore you back to whatever it was uh, when you backed it up. And then next, I'll show you how to install a new ROM. Um, with twerp recovery very easy to do and uh, I'll be back um, I'll be back actually I'll just show you that in another video um, that way you can only watch this uh, if you need to learn how to back up or restore and uh, twerp recovery so that was how to use twerp recovery to back up and restore your ROM make sure you make a backup please because um, it makes things easier you don't have to worry about anything. Um, you can always go back to stock very, very easy. Anyway, if you like this video, don't forget to hit that like button for me here. Subscribe button up there. And uh, share this with your friends on Twitter, Facebook, or Google+. And if you have a Galaxy Note 2, any of the Galaxy Note 2s, don't forget to sign up for my email list at uh, galaxynote2root.com. We update you once a week with ROM of the Week, tips, hacks, and more. And also, it's a great way for you to get in contact with me and others if you have trouble with your phone. And uh, stay high on Android. And, uh, uh, you know, I'll have a bunch of ROMs coming. So check it out. All right. Later.